to a member's statements. The member from Elgin, Middlesex, London. Thank you much, Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on November 11th of next week, Canadians and Ontarians will be reflecting on the many sacrifices made by men and women that ensured Canada's freedoms and values. On this day, Polish Canadians will also be reflecting on their own history of fighting for the protection of the same values. November 11, 1918, is a powerful and historic date for the Polish nation. It is the day in which Poland regained its independence following 123 years of partitions, occupations, and basically being wiped off the map of Europe. Wow. Following the partitions perpetuated by Austria, Prussia, and Russia, many uprisings and struggles, Poles managed to win back their freedom and rightful sovereignty, owing largely to their patriotism and heroism. This year marks the 97th anniversary since Polish re-established itself as an important European democracy. Polish Independence Day is the most important national holiday in Poland, and today I'm pleased to welcome Mr. Gregor Szmorowski, Council General of the Republic of Poland, to the Legislature. For Poles around the world, this day celebrates the strength, bravery, resilience of their peoples who for centuries have fought to maintain their national sovereignty against many perpetrators who have tried to make an affront. Here in Ontario, we are proud of the contributions Polish Canadians have made to our province since first settling here more than 155 years ago. I am very pleased to meet many Polish Canadians over the last few months and attend various community events. And earlier this year, I had the honour to pay tribute to the all-volunteer Polish Blue Army and lay a wreath at the annual Niagara and Lake Pilmigridge organized by the Canadian Polish Congress. Today, I'd like to extend my warmest wishes to all Polish Canadians celebrating Polish Independence here, here. Day. 